Welcome back. 25 years ago, a television journalist originally from Wyoming debuted right here on this station. And he's still here delivering the news most every weeknight. I had brown hair then. <laughs> had brown hair then. I'm talking, of course, about Jim Scott, who has co-anchored 17 News at 5 and 6 since 1996. Along the way, he has broken some big stories, introduced viewers to a lot of important people, and earned himself a spot on the couch in thousands of Central Valley homes. And here with an appreciation of our very own TV icon is 17's Robert Price. Jim, I know you'd agree one crusty old veteran to another. Crusty Journalist. is the operative term, yeah. <laughs> but crusty or old? Old. You're both. both. <laughs> journalists wear a lot of hats. And, and I've learned that journalists, uh, TV journalists especially, have to wear a lot of hats. Uh, depending on the circumstances, we might be called upon to explain, warn, teach, entertain, antagonize, offer comfort, and sometimes even befriend. You don't know me, but you don't like me. <laughs> My favorite song from you. Jim Scott has been all of those things at one time or another, sometimes simultaneously. But the hat we've come to see him wear most often is that of trustworthy voice. Over roughly 40 years in TV, 25 of them here at KGET. He has earned that status with hard work, an inquisitive mind, and a sense of duty. Thank you, Robin, and it is for... His broadcast career started in his native Wyoming, first in radio in Newcastle, followed by his first television job in Casper. He was recruited to Bakersfield in 1984, KERO-TV, where he served as anchor for the 11 p.m. news. His co-anchor at KERO was Robin Mangren. They turned out to be more than just a potent professional match. They married in 1987. In 1993, Jim and Robin moved four hours south to anchor the news at San Diego's KUSI. But they returned to Bakersfield three years later, this time to KGET. That is tonight's very fun fact with the fun, fun fact, fact guy. guy. All right. Jim's love of reporting meaty, meaningful stories earned him his chops. One, release, release, release government, water, the oil industry. He grasps them all and explains them to us with succinct clarity. 25 years later, Jim continues to build on the trust he established years ago, not just with viewers, but with the newsmakers he covers. When I was young, it was Burley Smith, Marge Stiles, Don Rodewald, and then along came a guy named Jim Scott. Jim Scott, you have been someone in our community that we could trust. And today, more than ever, we need that from the media. It is impossible to adequately assess the impact you are making every single day. But no doubt, Jim, you are one of the best in the news business. Jim's genuine caring for our community, his integrity, his keen investigative skills and humanity make Jim the consummate journalist that Bakersfield viewers trust. Jim Scott is a pillar in our community. When I think of him, I think of reliable news, heartwarming stories, and journalistic integrity. And I know that Bakersfield feels the same way. Jim Scott understands the limits of a nightly newscast that by necessity covers a broad range of topics from public safety to weather to high school football. That's why he created Kern County In Depth, a weekly public affairs show that brings in newsmakers like Assemblyman Rudy Salas. I always love our in-depths, Kern County in-depth sitting with you. You've been a tough but fair reporter and I, you've just been a true asset. And newsmakers like Stu Witt of the Mojave Air and Spaceport. If there's any one person who exemplifies and promotes Kern County regularly across the board, across the industries, it's Jim Scott. Along the way, he's collected plenty of hardware, the kind that signifies professional excellence. An Emmy, an Edward R. Murrow Award, along with countless honors from the community. But he's made his mark in another important way. He's a constant mentor every day in our newsroom. Uh, mentoring somebody that just started or mentoring someone that's been here for decades. General Manager Derek Jeffrey was probably talking about me at the end there. I have decades of newspaper experience, but when I came to KGET, I was a fish out of water. I was completely out of my realm. 
But Jim Scott showed the kind of patience that I don't know that I could have shown. But Jim really shows his worth when it comes to coaching up young journalists. Thank you for being such a great mentor to me. I've learned so much from you. So grateful to have been able to learn from you over these last few years. Everybody knows how great Jim Scott is on television. Every, all, every viewer can see how wonderful he is on TV, how important he is, how serious he is. What you don't see is the value he brings to an organization like this. The mentorship of all the people who come through here. Everyone gets a master class in journalism from Jim Scott. One of the things I really admire is the way that he helps mentor the younger reporters that come in. He wants everyone to do their best. A few young journalists like 17 Sunrise anchor Alex Fisher have been learning from the master for a very, very long time. I was two years old when Jim Scott first started working here at KGET, and I remember growing up seeing him anchor the news from this spot. This is where our old studio used to be. That's now our newsroom. But I used to, you know, grow up watching him deliver the news every single night for 17 News at five um, at home while he anchored in this spot. Jim Scott is the man that you can go to uh, if you feel like you're at a dead end with a story. He can make a good script better and you can also just go to him if you feel like you have just majorly screwed up and you can count on him for a big hug and to give you some advice on a way out of it. As a reporter, the biggest lesson that Jim taught me is that our job isn't just to report the news, but it's to care about the community you're reporting on. I know that may sound a little cheesy, but it's so true, and no one does that better than Jim. And he does it all with a remarkably even-tempered disposition. The one thing he really loves what I do is, come on, Jim, get to set, get to set. He loves that. That's, that's the best. No, I'm joking. He hates that. <laughs> If Jim Scott is wearing down, he's hiding it remarkably well. Fact is, he still loves what he does. To have 25 years in any industry is remarkable. To have 25 years in television and 25 years at one station, that is, to say the least, extremely rare. So, how do you last 25 years? Well, consistency, sense of mission, integrity. This is former KGET News Director John Pelios. Jimmy, we sure had a lot of success in the 14 years we shared together at KGET. I always considered you our moral compass. And I want to thank you for helping me straighten out my drives during all those charity golf tournaments. Hi. Wow, this is weird, huh? <laughs> Tammy put a little box on here so I'd be a little taller. <laughs> that was beautiful. Wow. Oh, I am so flattered and flabbergasted about what we just saw there. Bob, that was a nice six-minute piece that was uh, about six minutes too long. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful. Um, but I'm very grateful. And uh, one of the things I'm most grateful for in my 20, well, my 40 years in broadcasting is this lady that's standing oh. next to me oh, right here, my former co-anchor and my uh, love of my life. Robin. Thank you. Uh, we had some good times. Not on this set. <laughs> no. But on another, this is so cool. A couple of other sets. Yeah. This is why you look so good, Tammy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are so we're so proud of you. And you know, I only saw a few minutes, and thank goodness it was only a few minutes because um, we just we couldn't think of anything better for you oh, than this. Is tribute from these amazing it's not people like in journalism. And your son Jack's here too. And my son Jack is here. Is here. You're coming you. back to work tomorrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, yes. and Jack and Jack and Riley both uh, they tagged along with us at, at numerous fundraisers. Yeah. They were and under the desk at one point <laughs> when we were anchoring that we yeah. used to yeah. Yeah. And he turned out okay. Yeah. <laughs> turned out okay. I mean I, I've always appreciated, you know, that you especially when I was working the evening shows and you were at home watching the fort, taking care of our two boys, and uh, yeah, what a blessing, they what a blessing. really good. I remember them at Relay for Life, that you would all camp out there for oh, so yeah. many years. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was fun. fun, bringing yeah. all my friends. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've had, some, we've had some mishaps trouble. with him yeah. here running around, but uh, we were sharing those with Trahi, so. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, uh, this is a moment of great, um, well, I'm very humbled, I guess mm -hmm. is the bottom line. I'm extremely humbled and I'm grateful for all of the blessings I've received during my 40-year career in TV. And, and here, it's never been better than it has been 
here at uh, TV 17 and 17 News, work with so many good journalists over the years, yeah. and the door keeps turning, but the cream keeps rising to the top. And we have such a great team here, and our management, and I'm looking at our GM over there, and he's got a big <laughs> smile on his face. Uh, you're the best, Derek. Mike Trihe, he has been driving the bus and just doing a great job, and so it's team effort. It always has been. It's not about one person. It's about the team. Well, I don't know how we're able, or how you were able to put 25 years here into six minutes, but... Um, it's a I Jim mean, Scott package. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Jim Scott package. Can I asked for a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> Reserved for Jim, but Jim, you were such a blessing to this station. I mean, ever since I started here 21 years ago, Robin, you two opened me, welcomed me with open arms, and you've always been amazing, and not just co-workers, but mentors and very good friends, and I mean, I know you want the best for everybody here, Absolutely. and I mean, you both just really put your heart and soul into this community, and so, I mean, everybody sees you on TV, but a lot of behind the scenes, everything goes in, there's so much that goes into behind the scenes, and so... I know both of you have dedicated your hearts to this community for decades. So thank you, Tim. It's just it's so hard kind. to put it all into just a little a little story there. But man, are we done yet? I <laughs> know. <laughs> he's getting, yeah, he's getting uncomfortable. This. And Jim will be back this tomorrow. This is not a goodbye. <laughs> this is just a tribute. We want to make sure we, we say that it's just a tribute. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just want to I want to say one more thing, and that is I want to thank God and my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for all the blessings that I have had and continue to enjoy. And um, I want to thank you, the viewers, for 25 years of support. You've been amazing. You know, I get to see it each and every day. And when we ring the bell <clears throat> and we ask for your assistance in raising money for the many, many worthwhile causes we have here in Kern County, you always answer the call. And the giving spirit of the Golden Empire, that is our mantra here. And, and you uh, epitomize that. You, uh, you're the reason we are so strong here, just because we have a strong support system, and, and that's you out there. So, hey Jack, anything you grateful. wanna wanna say to Dad? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> all of you know how hardworking he is here at TV17. But coming from um, a son and having a father who um, just exemplified great leadership, kindness, patience, love how to be a good husband. Um, it's taught me a lot in the long run. I may have not paid attention to it <laughs> uh, earlier, but um, man, I'm just, I'm thankful that he is led by example my entire life and he's been patient with me and my brother. Um, I'm sure Riley would say the same thing, but we, uh, we love you yeah, and we're well, thankful I love you for too, you. buddy. Thank I you. Do. I'm so blessed. Uh, that's it. Is that's that it? it? Yeah, that's yeah. it. I Happy mean, that's 25 years, Jim Scott. I know. I feel Yay. like I got it. I feel like I need to ride off into the west. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you can do the 6 o'clock by yourself. Okay. <laughs> Giddy up, Thank cowboy. you all, Bob. Thank you for all the hard work on that. Uh, one Great of the story. best writers I've ever worked with in my career. Is that man right there, Bob Price? And thank you to Steve Womack for a great job. Yes, on the as yes, usual, Steve. Steve Womack. All right, we're coming back, and we have another half hour of news. Thank you, thank you all for that. We're back. Yay.